Social Security Disability, otherwise known as SSDI. What is your raise going to be into 2021 and how is it going to impact your monthly benefits? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Yesterday, I produced a video very similar to this one talking about SSI, Supplemental Security Income, benefits and the raise associated with those benefits into 2021 and how it's going to impact the monthly benefits. Well, on that video, I had quite a few comments down below from different people asking, hey, can you give examples? How is it going to impact Social Security Disability? benefits. So this video is for you. It's dedicated to SSDI. And of course, Social Security retirement is very similar to this, but I could also make a dedicated video about that as well. So I wanted to run through three examples that I pulled right out of the comment section. I'm going to run the calculations in this video and show you uh, what your benefit is going to be for 2021. Now, here's the difference between SSI, Supplemental Security Income, and Social Security Disability or Retirement Benefits. So SSI is a fixed number. Everybody, or not everybody, but the majority of people that receive SSI receive the same benefit amount, $783 in 2020 and $794 in 2021. It's a fixed number in most scenarios. If you want more information about that, check out my video from yesterday. But here's the difference between SSI and Social Security Disability and Retirement Benefits, and that is, with SSI being a fixed number each and every month for most people, Social Security Disability and Retirement is actually not a fixed number. It is different for basically everybody. So the calculation for every single person is going to be different. But like I said, I'm going to give you three examples in this video that I pulled right out of the comment section, and I can tell you how to figure out your benefit going forward into 2021. So let's get right into it. But really quickly, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for checking me out. Be sure you are subscribed by hitting the button down below. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks so much for allowing me to be your daily advocate and allowing me to be the underdog advocate, looking out for all of you here and giving you the best information that I can always find on these types of topics. So let's jump right into these examples. I'll try to run through this relatively slowly and give you these examples. Um, but again, it's it's pretty simple. I'll At the end of this, I will walk you through the exact example um, of how you can calculate your benefits going forward. And I'll do my best to answer the questions down below. If you leave a comment saying, you know, what are my benefits going to be? Here's how much I receive. I'll try to do that. But Unfortunately, because of the volume of comments I get every day, it's literally impossible for me to answer every single comment and to run the calculations. However, I try to do as many comments as I possibly can. As many of you know, I do respond to you when I can. So anyway, sorry, that was longer than I wanted it to be. But anyway, let's get into these calculations. All right, so example number one, this person told me that they receive $707 per month in SSDI benefits in 2020. So they wanna know what is my benefit going to be in 2021? Let's run the calculation and the numbers. Just hang with me. I have three examples, hang with me. If it doesn't make sense, hopefully it'll make sense on example maybe number two or example number three. All right, so $707 in monthly benefits. This is what they receive into their bank account as a deposit each and every month. But the, um, the raise in 2021 is calculated off of the gross number. The gross is the, the, the benefit that you would receive prior to deductions, prior to expenses, expenses being Medicare Part B. So let's calculate that. So we have $707 that's deposited into their account. Let's add back in the Medicare Part B premium for, for uh, 2020, and then let's figure out what the gross is. So 707 plus 400, uh, $144.60, which is the Medicare Part B premium in 2020, brings us up to $851.60. So that's the gross payment that this person would receive in 2021 prior to Medicare Part B premiums being taken out. Now let's calculate the raise that this person's going to receive in 2021. So we're going to take that 851, multi uh, 851.60 multiplied by 1.013. That's going to account for the 1.3% raise in 2021. That brings us up to $863. So that's the gross benefit in 2021 for this person. Now, we need to subtract the Medicare Part B premium from that $863 uh, benefit number. So we take 863 minus 
the $148.50, which brings us down to $714.50. I'm gonna round that up because as we know, Social Security, they round. I'm gonna round it up to $715. So this person should get a, an increase of their benefits by $8 per month up to $715. I hope that makes sense. Let's run through another example and see what this next person will get. Person number two. They said, I receive $843 per month in social security disability benefits. Can you tell me how much I'm gonna get in 2021? Here you go, here's your numbers. 843, we're gonna add back in the $144.60 Medicare Part B premium. That'll bring us up to $987.60. All right, so that's the gross in 2020. Now, let's calculate the raise based on gross, which is, that 1.3% raise, so we're gonna take $987.60 multiplied by 1.013, which brings us to an even $1,000 and some change. Okay, again, we know Social Security rounds, I'm just gonna say $1,000 and some change. Now, let's subtract off that $148.50, which is the Medicare Part B premium in 2021. That brings us down to $852. So this person, person number two, you get $852 in your benefits in 2021. That's, it, that's what should be deposited into your bank account. Now, that is a raise of $9. So person number two, you get an extra nine bucks per month. All right, one more example here, and then I'll run you through this calculation. Again, so person number three, this person gets $1,013 per month in social security disability benefits. Let's remember, let's add back in the, social, uh, the Medicare Part B premium in 2020, which is $144.60. That brings us up to $1,157.60. Now let's run the calculation on the raise, which is that 1.3% raise. So the way I'm gonna calculate that is I'm gonna take $1,157.60 multiplied by 1.013, which brings us up to $1,173. Again, I, I, raised, I rounded that up by a few cents, but you know, again, that's okay. Now we're gonna take that $1,173 and we're gonna minus off the $148.50 for the Medicare Part B premium in 2021. That's gonna bring us down to $1,025. So this person would get a raise of 12 bucks. I hope you I, I hope you stayed with me on that. All right, so here's how you can run the calculation on your benefits if you want. I realized that probably sounded like I thought I was out of school. I, I didn't realize I was attending math class again. <laughs> it's actually pretty simple. Let me run through the calculation with you. So this is assuming Medicare Part B premiums are taken out of your benefit. So what you can do, whatever your benefit is today in 2020 that you get deposited into your bank account, if you have Medicare Part B, what we wanna do is we wanna add those benefits back in because the raise that you get each year is based off of your gross number before deductions. And then we need to you know, minus that off again. So take your number that you receive in your bank account each and every month, add back in $144.60 back to that number. It's gonna give you a bigger number. Now, that's your gross number in 2020. Now take that number and multiply it by 1.013. That's calculating into effect the 1.3% um, raise in 2020. Now again, your number's gonna jump up a little bit more. That's gonna be your new gross number in 2021. Now, if you have Medicare Part B, we wanna minus off the new premium. So take that new, the biggest number there that you have, take that number and minus off $148.50. And that'll bring you to your new benefit that you're going to receive in 2021. So again, round up whatever your benefit comes up to. Let's say it's um, whatever the number is. I don't know, I'm just making this number up. Let's just say it's $700 and uh, $700 and 53 cents round it up. So you're going to be at $701. So there you go. I hope that helps you. Another thing we can remember too is if you just want to be patient, I guess you can wait for your letter to arrive in early December. <laughs> That's only a couple weeks away. Uh, 
every December in the early part of December, usually about the first week, week and a half or two weeks of December, you should receive a letter in the mail from the Social Security Administration saying, here's your benefit, it's going up, but we're gonna take out this much for Medicare Part B and all that business. And then they finally reconcile down on the bottom line and tell you how much your benefit is going to be going forward into 2021. So I suppose, Worst case scenario, if you don't wanna run the calculation, you can always wait for that letter here in the next few weeks. But either way, I hope this helps you out. I hope this answers the questions for many of you receiving social security disability. Again, for those of you receiving social security retirement, it's going to be a very similar process because all of you are receiving different amounts. It's not like SSI where everybody receives essentially the same number. So again, if you want me to make a dedicated video for social security retirement, leave some numbers down below if you want and maybe I'll grab yours and have a real life example here on my videos. So for the three of you that I chose for these examples, I hope that helps you out. Otherwise, I'll catch you later today. Stay safe and uh, enjoy your day. I'll catch you soon.